Hey folks, Solo Gamer here, and we're going to be playing another game of A Touch of Evil. And uh, our heroes this time are going to be Carl, the soldier. Of course, he's a veteran. He may ignore the first hit taken during each fight round. Has a spirit of two, cunning of two, combat of four, and honor of five. Then we have Captain Hawkins here. Here's his little miniature. Honor four, spirit two, cunning three, combat three. As an action, may pay two investigation to place a militia in any space on the board. This may be only used if there are currently four or few militia markers on the board. During his move phase, may pay one investigation to move a militia marker to any other space on the board. If there's a minion there, you may discard the militia on a roll of die six. And roll a die six on a roll of three plus discard the minion as well and gain the minion's victory reward as though it was defeated in a fight. So that might come in handy. And last, we have Valerina the Eternal. Here's her little thing. <clears throat> Spirit 2, Cunning 3, Combat 3, Honor 3. She's a vampire. Automatically heals die 3 wounds at the end of a fight round in which she defeated an enemy. This may prevent her from being KO'd, immune to curses. Gains 1 investigation each time the shadow track moves a step closer to darkness. May not use gun items and may not use or carry cards that are holy or give a bonus against vampires. Okay, and uh, the villain we're going to be playing is the Necromancer, and he came with a he came with either a hero pack or one of the hero packs, and this is one the only real time that I think that this uh, flying frog got lazy. My only complaint is they used you got to reuse the vampire minion chart for this guy, so he's going to have bats. Eh. Wolves, eh. Walking Dead. Okay, that makes sense. And a succubus, eh. So, anyways, um, he's a sorcerer, a vile and depraved man. The necromancer uses dark magic to raise legions of dead from their graves. Any hero who does not have a combined spirit and cunning of eight or higher will only hit the villain in a fight on a natural roll of a six. Which, yeah, five, five, four. So, we're going to have to build some stuff up. Alright, at the start of the game, place a walking dead at three random locations. Let's put one at the town hall. Let's not put one at the town hall because we have to start there. So let's redraw here. We put one at Smuggler's Cove. Uh, let's put one at the magistrate's office. That's not good. And let's put one at the icy waters. At the start of each mystery phase, place a walking dead at a random location, or at two random locations if the shadow track is currently in the red. At the start of each mystery phase, every minion on the board moves one space along the shortest path towards town hall. Any town elder killed by the villain is turned into a zombie elder on a die six roll of four plus, discarding any secrets they have and joining the necromancer as an evil elder. Any time the mystery card murder is played, roll a die six. On a roll of four plus, put a walking dead at the same random location as the investigation. So it's possible to start running out of these walking dead guys real quick and have to start having to move the, the shadow track super quick. So this is going to be a hard one. I don't know if we can, I don't know if we're going to be able to win, but it's going to be a hard one. So let's get everybody to start starting cards. And uh, we'll start. All right, let's see here. All right, so we're going to start with Carl the Soldier. And he might as well go ahead and roll the die and try to boost up something as well. So he gets a three. So uh, he's going to go to the church, and we're going to draw an event card. Play immediately. You are challenged to a duel by one of the locals. Make an honor five plus test and gain two investigation for every five plus roll. It has an honor of five, so that ought to be all right. Okay, well, all right, so it did pass. He needs two investigation. And now we're going to test to get a spirit. And like I said, he has an honor of five. Let's make a spirit test. Okay, so he passed, so let's pay two investigation and give him a plus one spirit. Okay, we have Captain Hawkins. Let's roll him. He moves six. See, he can go to the abandoned keep. Well, that's where he's going to go to the abandoned keep. Look at that. Plus one combat, plus one cunning. Pistol crossbow. Does not count against your carrying limits. So that's very good. 
And then we have Valerina. And she rolls a two, and she's going to go over here to Spirit as well. Draw an event card. Okay, and let's see, she has an honor of three. And she's successful. So she gains a plus one spirit as well. Okay, so let's do our mystery phase here. Uh, but first, oh boy. Every minion on the board moves one space towards town hall. So this guy is moving here. This guy's moving here. And the icy waters here is moving here. Alright, now we have to put one at a random location. And this is the fields. And let's draw a mystery card. Roll once on the villain's minion chart and work out the result. If that minion, if a minion is rolled, place that minion at two extra random locations. Jeez. Okay, let's see. Five. Wow, succubus. So we gotta put a succubus at the marsh. My God, this is going bad. And let's put one at the beach. At two extra random locations, right? And we have to put one at the lighthouse. So that's a possibility we're gonna be running out of monsters real soon. Okay, so it's Carl's turn. Let's go with Carl. He rolls a five. He's gonna go to the manor. And see, he gets a plus two spirit. An ally. Well, that's good. So that's three, five, seven. And one more he can do, all right. All right, Captain Hawkins. He rolls a five. One, two, three, four. He's going to the magistrate's office. And he gets an event card. Bribery. Okay, and he's going to train his cunning. And he got it. Alright, so he gets... Let's see if we've kind of cunning. Plus one cunning. And here's his two. And Valeria, if she rolls... She rolls a one. That's terrible. So she gets an event card. And where does she need to go? She needs to go to the old woods. Let's send her to the doctor's office, and she gets another event card. All right, all right. So let's move the mystery phase. All right, we have the Walking Dead uh, moving, moving, moving. Okay, we have to put another one at a random location, and it's a stone bridge. Which has that, so it's going to go there. All right, let's do a mystery card. A wave of villain minions attack. Roll once on the villain's minion chart and place that minion as well as two investigation. At three random locations. Well, that's terrible. All right, five. I got some more succubus. I have one succubus, two succubus, three succubus. So I have one at the manor, which is going to fight. I have one at the windmill, and I have to put one at the barracks. So this is filled up, but we have to put three investigation at some places. Two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, uh, three. And now we're gonna, he's gonna, Carl's gonna fight. And uh, he's got a combat of four. And she has gains, uh, she'll have a gain of plus one fight die. So four. And he does two hits on her. So that's good. So it's like he's going to, uh, well, he's going to be one short. She gets three fight dice. And he can ignore the first hit, but he's going to take two wounds here. Not good. All right, and he gets to attack again. All right, well, he definitely killed her this time. And he ignores the first wound. So he killed her. 
So we'll put her back over here. He gains four investigation. And he needs to go see a doctor. Okay, and speaking of seeing a doctor, it's his turn. He rolls a five. One, two, three, four. Okay, he's going to heal two wounds. Pay two investigation. And he's going to draw an event card. Okay. Captain Hawkins. He rolls a three. He's going to go one, two, three. Valerina. She rolls a five. Where should I get to go? Oh, old woods. All right. One, two, three, four. She goes to the old woods. What does she get? Healing herbs. Okay. And now, let us move our zombies. Well, that zombie's going to stay there. This zombie is going to move here. Um, here. Here. Can I put a zombie on a board? Yes, I can. So zombie's going to go to the abandoned keep. <clears throat> okay, let's draw a mystery card. If Lady Hairbrook is still alive, every hero must immediately discard one item or ally and move immediately to the crossroads. Oh my god. <sighs> Alright, so everybody's moving to the crossroads. Alright, well, he has to get rid of the ally. He has to get rid of the pistol crossbow. And she has to get rid of the healing herb. So that was god awful. Jesus. Okay. Alright, so our hero's turn. Let's go Carl. He rolls a three. One, two, three. Captain Hawkins. He rolls a five. One, two, three. And he's five at the. Uh, Forgotten Island, and then he gets an enchanted pistol. Plus three combat. Valeria, she rolls a one, she gets an event. Okay. So let's start moving our zombies here. One, one. Um, one, one. We'll move them down that way. And we got to place a new one on the board. Do I have any more? Yes, I do. The end. Let's draw a mystery card. If Reverend Harding is still alive, roll a die six for every book currently in play. Okay, well, we don't have any books currently in play. So it's our hero's turn. It's Carl's turn. He rolls a one, so he's going to get an event. And he's going to move here, and he's going to have to fight the zombie. And these zombies are... Fight dies four, wounds four, only hits on a roll of six, though. Carl has four combat. He misses. Zombie has four combat. Carl can ignore that wound, so it's a miss. Carl's going to fight to keep fighting. All right, so you hit the zombie twice. The zombie misses. He hit the zombie once. He ignores that, so the zombie misses. He misses. Alright, the zombie hit him twice, but he can ignore one, so Carl takes one wound. Okay, Carl hits him and kills him, and the zombie uh, misses. So Carl kills the zombie, gains three investigation. Okay, and before encountering or heal one wound, he will heal that wound he just took. And he has his encounter, and this is a keeper's registry. Mm, I can use that to cancel a mystery card, which is kind of cool. Okay, and so Captain Hawkins, he rolls a three, two, three. Valerina, Tam with the ones. Another event card. Okay. So let's do a on the mystery phase. We have to move some zombies. They're gonna basically stay where they're at. Uh, he's moving here. He's moving here. 
I have to put a new one out and it's going to the church. And let's do an event card. The Harbor Master's still alive. Okay, well he's got to look extra stuff to look at secrets, and now it's Carl's turn. Carl's gonna roll, he rolls one, and yeah, he gets an event card. Okay. Captain Hawkins, he rolls a two, one. Uh, where does he need to go? Two. And Valerina, one, two. Wait a minute. One, four, five. She goes to the monastery. And this is immediately heal one wound and gain one investigation. Okay. Well, she just gained one investigation. And that's it. All right, now the mystery phase, and we move this zombie here. So all these zombies are kind of freaking where they're at. We gotta see if we gotta put out a new zombie. It's shipwreck. Do I have a zombie to put out? No, I do not. So I have to move the doom track one. And let's draw a mystery card here. Harbor master, one of path, water path. Okay, I'm gonna let's pay two investigation. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this card. I'm going to discard the Keeper's Registry to get rid of that. All right. Carl's turn. Ugh, damn it, he rolls another one. Damn it. Okay. Captain Hawkins. All right, he's here at the lighthouse. Let's fight the succubus. He has a combat of six, actually. He hits her once. That's terrible. She gets three die. She hits him tw twice. Man, holy shit. Wow. Okay. That was terrible. Okay, well, he kills her that time. And she is going to roll. She hits him and actually kills him. Unless I got something here. Two wounds to hero. Okay, so play that event card. Whew. All right. Well, he killed her. So let's take her off. <sighs> he gets full investigation for that. And he goes to the lighthouse and he gets a sailor pistol. Look at that. All right. He may trade it to somebody. Valeria is going to go. Four. One, four. Let's see. She see if she gets a ah man, a mystery card. Card plays on the hero. She gets minus one combat. Let's see if she can do any of this stuff. Nope. Alright, now for the mystery phase. We have no more zombies, so we have to move the doom track. But Valeria will keep getting investigation. Our zombies have moved everywhere they're going to move. Let's play another mystery card. While this card is in play, any hero in a town space at the end of a mystery phase must roll a die six. At the roll of one, two, a hero's attack, draw a hunting to fight. Okay. All right, so it's Carl's turn. But we'll go ahead and end it there. we come back, it'll be Carl's turn. Solo Gamer saying, see you then.